So as you can see, this is, this is the principle of walking. And you have here, for the instance, a multimeter connected on the first rail and the other for the negative rail. And this one is for total the total voltage of this filter. As you can see, I have this probe with um, height voltage on it. This is uh, not real height voltage, but about 50 volts. And I'm going to charge each banks of capacitors one after the other for to to see how it reacts on this multimeter. As you can see, I charge the first, and I have. 50 volts on the first multimeter and I charge the, the second and I have a, a, another voltage from the second negative rail and here we have the total of all of the capacitor this is the extreme limits of the rail and so the purpose is to to make a, a circuit which is able to to make uh, this operation simultaneously after in a very short time like this, charging this one, charging this one, charging this one, charging this one. And you will have a negative rail and a positive rail. And this multimeter is just to show you the, the additional voltage of these two rails. So I spotted here some very good elements, a very nice MOSFET, able to handle some 100 volts and also some uh, high speed diodes. Those diodes are able to handle some uh, 100 volts uh, also. Very nice component uh, and really good win. So I have to dismount those one for to make my uh, MOSFET bridge. And those capacitors also, which are very nice to use. So it makes uh, lots of components for to make this project, but uh, but uh, it needs what it needs. Um, those components are quite big actually. For little configuration, we don't need so much, so big components. But this is uh, just uh, salvaged parts and uh, I have no choice for the moment. Here, the first project is mounted and uh, it takes some place actually, I think, to make it more little next time. So this is a testing configuration. And uh, as you can see, there is nothing on the multimeter because the capacitor has been discharged. What I'm going to do here is to to close each uh, MOSFET, uh, both of them, I mean, because they work uh, in a twin uh, configuration. Those one works together with uh, this two battery. They are galvanically protection and you can see a voltage appearing. On the first capacitor, this is the positive, and those capacitor, those uh, MOSFETs, are commanded by those batteries, and those batteries make the other capacitor charging, and it creates the negative rail. So you can see uh, on first capacitor a uh, positive voltage and the total of them is 37 volts which is the additional voltage actually. I hope I could make a little PCB like that for to take uh, less room because this is a, a big circuit for the moment. Here in front this is the little oscillator. It's a very simple oscillator with a natural oscillation. It's called a self-oscillation circuit. And uh, this circuit, despite the, this uh, simplicity, is very nice and uh, it provides a very nice square wave without a date time. And for to uh, drive some circuit like that, it's perfect. And so you can see that it's very sensible to the voltage variation and uh, you, ha you have a, a frequency rise 
when the voltage raised, the voltage and the frequency increase in the same time from the output when you feed it with the, with the higher voltage. So here the driver is connected each output with each MOSFET and you can see it's, it's perfectly working. Currently there is a negative voltage and positive voltage on the output of these capacitors with, with one single rail. You can see here the signal is uh, like a square wave, it's not a perfect square wave and the first front is perfect for it to drive some MOSFET actually because this is a high peak of voltage for to force the gate of the transistor to follow the voltage coming from the transformer and uh, as you can see that works very nice. I also tried to make uh, a driver with a 555 but actually it didn't make a good result and I lose the circuit. Here I am doing the toroidal which is uh, the main piece in this application. I provide only 5 volts to this uh, oscillator and as you can see it works very nice according to what the oscilloscope will show. And so uh, let's uh, make the multimeter on the good uh, range. So you will see a voltage here and another voltage here which is the negative and the positive actually. So the total voltage is about 40 volts, nearly 40 volts, like this. It's about what the power supply is able to feed actually. And uh, it works with a very simple oscillator. So this is the nearly the finished product. I think I need to put the uh, transistors on it and uh, try to make it as uh, much little I can. As you can see, the square wave is uh, very depending about the entry voltage and uh, this is the same for the frequency. It's able to go until 20 kilohertz. First, I was using this uh, resistance network for to provide some energy with the 65 volts. Um, but uh, it spent a lot of energy for supplying this device because there is a big loss of heat and uh, voltage on it. So. The most uh, important thing in this project is the capacitor's bank. You need a very nice capacitor's bank with the voltage corresponding to your project because this uh, very simple project is a uh, very, very wide range and uh, the voltage they are able to handle is just the voltage about your output capacitors like those ones which are able to provide 200 volts. Here it is the project nearly finished. Um, this is a, a cross configuration actually because there's uh, this transistor works with this one and this one works on this one. Uh, they are driven by this uh, very simple circuit. This is a, a self oscillation circuit with a little toy doll and you can see here a lot of colors uh, for the wire on it and uh, each transistor has his own driving circuit. Uh, as you can see here, there is uh, some colors. You have red, purple, uh, green and yellow. And uh, this, uh, this, this uh, transformer I've ha has four output for to drive each transistor separately. And uh, the made of this oscillator is very simple. As you can see, there is here two PNP transistors powered with, with this side from the board. And I use this configuration because this is the most easy way to drive a circuit like that because I don't need a 494 or a 555 circuit. And this circuit provide a height, height safe for your uh, driving circuit. So 
this circuit actually works with 12 volt, which is in our project the same voltage than the voltage going through the boost converter. I prefer to uh, to use this um, driver on the 12 volts coming from the power supply rather to use the height voltage uh, from the bank capacitors capaci from the capacitors banks because we have a lot of loss energy and uh, I don't like that because it uses nonetheless about 6 watt of energy just to provide uh, some energy to this uh, oscillator so I prefer to use high voltage entry here mono rail voltage entry here and the height uh, voltage uh, f coming from the capacitor rails and another supply for this little uh, oscillator coming from the same power supply than the boost converters. Here you can see the process of working. You, you have here the positive and the negative and you can see there is many switch on uh, those capacitors and uh, this switch is connected uh, with this one mechanically connected to this one and this one is mechanically connected to this one and when this both cap uh, switch are closed you have the charge of these capacitors and after this they open and the other switch will be closed and so you have the charge of these capacitors and the cycle will be repeat, repeat some, uh, as much as uh, it can for to charge these capacitors and these capacitors nearly in the same time so you will have uh, voltage here positive voltage and a negative voltage here the problem with this kind of boost converter is they they are not separately uh, disconnected from the ground and the output is currently uh, connected to the ground so you cannot use both of them to to create a symmetrical voltage for example if you have 60 volt here and 60 volt here you cannot connect them between uh, b between this uh, voltage for to create a negative and positive rail because they have this uh, a ground on the output connected to the ground on uh, on the input and you cannot change that because they are engineered for to have common ground this is the reason where you can use this kind of device and this one is uh, very big actually it's uh, able to provide something like 2000 watts on a big storage capacitors bank and uh, if you connect those both boost converters together in parallel and uh, connect it to this uh, little board you can have here something like 2000 uh, more than 2000 but this both converters are able to provide 1000 watts but this little board is able to provide something like 2000 watts with this uh, battery bank this is a quite big uh, symmetrical application actually so here this is the final configuration and you have here the boost converter which was adjusted for to have um, 65 uh, volts on output and you have here the divider which create a negative and positive uh, uh, output if I connect it um, uh, unfortunately I make I made the test before and this uh, amplifier simply explode here I have a little uh, mp3 player with a with a, with a song without uh, any copyright on it and if I switch on you can see it switch on here switch on here and it doesn't work anymore uh, I have made 
the test a uh, few minutes uh, ago and uh, it uh, simply explode transistors under the PCB simply explode fortunately this amplifier is dead I saw uh, in uh, on many forums there was a lots of uh, trouble issue with uh, this kind of kit actually and uh, there was a lot of smoke coming from the MOSFET and uh, the the heat sink so this is a uh, just a mp3 player which uh, provides some uh, a signal on it and this is the speaker but unfortunately be, mm, during the test smokes coming from was coming from the pcb and uh, so here you can see if i make some measure i make some measure here you can see it has it has a nice voltage the nice voltage for this uh, amplifier and this de device is working nice and unfortunately this amplifier class d amplifier coming from aliexpress didn't work actually so unfortunately this is the end of the video i wanted just to make you a good uh, example for this uh, device unfortunately uh, this one doesn't work so uh, that's okay i hope you like this video until you see you soon